everyone, I'm Cherie. Welcome to my channel and don't forget to hit subscribe. So today we'll be going through a case. This is a single image I wanted to show you. And the clinical history is a 17 year old patient with an elevated beta HCG. So what is your diagnosis? Now let's quickly go through this um, image first. This is a transvaginal ultrasound and it demonstrates that there is a soft tissue mass within the intrauterine cavity with a lot of cystic spaces. We see that colored Doppler has been utilized and this indicates that this intrauterine mass is vascular. So today we'll be talking about gestational trophoblastic disease and this particular case, um, we see a complete mole. Gestational trophoblastic disease is really an umbrella term and it encompasses a lot of different entities. I think the one we are most um, aware of is the hydatiform mole. And these can be complete, partial or coexistent with a pregnancy. Other entities in this umbrella Underneath this umbrella term are invasive mole, choriocarcinoma, placental site trophoblastic tumour and epithelioid trophoblastic tumour. So on imaging for um, a complete mole is exactly what we saw on the first image. So mainly it is that intrauterine mass with a lot of cystic spaces without fetal parts. This is also termed a snowstorm or bunch of grape appearance. Usually the uterus is also enlarged. Um, and sometimes we can see bilateral fecal lutein cysts um, in the ovaries. Suction and curatage are used for evacuation and are usually the routine uh, management for these patients with complete moles. Serial beta ACG is really important and the level should be performed until it is no longer detectable because this is the main indication of residual disease. So what's the difference between complete and partial moles? Well, complete moles are more common. Um, in terms of chromosome, there are 46XX or 46XY, and only the paternal chromosomes are seen. There's no fetus or fetal parts, and the beta HCG is markedly ele elevated. This may progress to invasive mole in 15% and choriocarcinoma in 5%. For partial moles, their chromosome makeup is 69XXX, or 69XXY, and you'll find both paternal and maternal chromosomes. May have a fetus or fetal components associated with it, and the beta HCG is only moderately elevated. So thank you for watching today, and see you next time.